<clears throat> so apparently the Ukrainian government is using my idea to fucking um, pay the Russian shoulders for their fucking equipment, whether it be a tank, mortars, rocket launchers, bulletproof vest, any fucking thing. Bring it in, surrender, and we'll give you some cash money, baby. A fucking jet, plane, no matter what it is, you'll get paid a shit ton of money for it. So here's the thing, folks. I've been saying this shit for like two weeks ago. And what I was doing in that time was I was commenting on a bunch of fucking Ukrainian videos and I was just basically telling everybody, buy the fucking Russian shit because that is the Russian army's fucking weak fucking point. Is that these are a bunch of brainless, poor zombie slaves who are getting fucking paid potatoes to murder a bunch of people that they don't want to kill. But if you feed them a fucking steak... And you give them a safe place to fucking chill and hang out. Then these motherfuckers will gladly turn against these fucking, their masters, man. But anyway, let's check out the video and see what's up. A Russian tank crew member has surrendered to the Ukrainian forces and handed over his fully operable tank after seeing in his phone a targeted text with the Ukrainian government's offer that guaranteed safety, a financial reward, as well as potential Ukrainian citizenship once the war is over. The news was shared on Facebook by Viktor Andrusov, advisor to the Minister of Internal Affairs. A few days ago I wrote of the news that finally exposes the splits in the Russian army. Now I can elaborate. I wanted to show you the video, but our special services asked me not to. A Russian soldier handed us his tank for a reward, said the official. Over the past few weeks, the National Police has identified the phone numbers used by Russian forces, and these were Ukrainian numbers. He clarified that messages are constantly sent to these numbers with instructions on how to surrender and hand over their armored equipment. They are fucking doing exactly what the fuck I told them to do, baby. The only thing where they're fucking up is they are not offering enough motherfucking money, baby. And another thing I told them to do, I said to make that shit public. Let everybody fucking know. They like to treat they like to treat it as some secret fucking mission to not piss off Putin. Nah, oh, man, the point of that shit is to piss that motherfucker off. To show the whole world and to show that motherfucker that his own people is willing to turn against him because he is a worthless piece of shit fucking human being, dog. So you got to put it in everybody's goddamn fucking face. Homie, when you fucking get one of these Russian soldiers to turn in their shit. And you got to show them a bunch of fucking respect. You got to give them a medal. You got to do all kinds of shit. You got to give them a ceremony. You got to make it fucking big and important that these fucking Russian soldiers are giving you their shit and choosing peace over bloodshed and fucking mayhem and shit. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shout out to Ukraine for doing the right thing. Hell yeah, man. These motherfuckers know exactly what's A saying. Russian tank crew member has surrendered to the Ukrainian flew, forces and handed over his fully operable tank after seeing in his phone a targeted text with the Ukrainian government's offer that guaranteed safety, a financial reward, as well as potential Ukrainian citizenship once the war is over. Goddamn fucking right, man. Now look, I don't know if they took my idea. Or somebody out there in fucking Buki Buki stand has the same fucking mindset as Governor Full 20. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. But all I'm saying is I hope Ukraine fucking whoops this fucking Basura's fucking ass player and collects this fucking dude's dome piece so we can throw that shit in Donald Trump's lap. Like, here, motherfucker. Here's your friend Putin. <laughs> You fucking orange worthless fucking golf riding piece of shit. Fuck you. So anyways, yeah. Ukraine, give these motherfucking uh, Russian motherfuckers hell out there. And do what needs to be done, baby. Absolutely. But don't worry. Because America is right behind you, dog. And if things get way too bad, we'll step in there and fucking mop the floor with this fucking cunt bitch, dog. Anyway, man, you got to stay groovy. God bless.